My name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems, GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 161. And today is our lesson number 68. Let's take a look at it. This has to do with what they call the data interpretation, which is basically analyzing the graphs. There are different types of graphs they give you. Sometimes they give you pie charts, sometimes they give you this bar graph, sometimes they give you the regular graph and you just have to analyze them. And when they give you the questions based on the graph, they go in sequence and this is the only time where you're going to find the questions where they go in the order of difficulty. First one is easy, obviously, then the medium, then the hard. If there happens to be three, if there are more than that, you get the idea. Here, the first two are clearly marked as medium. They have taken out the easy ones. And even the so-called medium, you will see, is not that bad. So the chart is given to you. Hopefully the book is in front of you. You have to have book in front of you, otherwise you will not follow it. You must look at the chart. I'm not going to actually put anything on the blackboard. Question number one. It says there are 275 students in the field of engineering. So let's make a note here. 275 students. Approximately, what is the ratio of the number of students in engineering to the number of faculty? So we're looking for the ratio. We're looking for the ratio of the students to faculty. Very simple, very straightforward. We already know the number of students. All we have to establish is the number of faculty from the chart. So if you look at the uh, if you look at the engineering chart, the, the engineering bar, which is the third one. The first one is biological sciences, then business, or then education, it's not the third one, and general engineering, the, the fourth one. The top one where it says female, the darker one, you can see there that there are 2% of the faculty that are female, 2% of, of the faculties are in engineering school, 2% of the total faculties, 2% of female faculties. In other words, out of all the female faculties in the, in the college, in the, in the university, two out of 100 uh, happen to work for the engineering department. Question is, how many female faculties are there? And for that, you have to look at the top of the chart. The very top of the chart there, right there at the very top, it will tell you, right there at the very top, it tells you total female faculty, total male faculty, and now we are at the uh, fourth one, biological sciences, business, education, and engineering. I don't know why I have to do like that. I didn't need to. This is, this is too silly. You can do it on your own. So there are 200 female faculties. So 2% of 200. How much is 2% of 200? Well, that's very easy. I know 2% of 100. 2% of 100 is 2. So 2% 2 of 200 must be 4. And then we look at the male chart for engineering. And that looks like to me it's about 12% not about 12%, it is 12%, 12% of male faculty, so 12% of, how many male faculties are there in the school, total male faculty on the top of the, on top of the thing will tell you is 250, so we have to figure out 12% of 250, let's do it here, 12% of 250. How do we figure out 12% of 250? And if you're about to say with the calculator, then be my guess, but I, I don't like to use calculators. I try to avoid as much, avoid the damn thing as much as I can, okay? So I'm going to break up 250 into three parts, into 100, 100, and 50. I know 12%, I know 12% of 100 is 12, I know 12% of another 100 would be 12, and if the 12% of 100 is 12, then 12% 12 of 50 stands to reason that must be half of it. There you go, that's your 12%. 12 plus 12 is 24, plus 6 is 30. 12. We're almost there. That's it. That's it, we're done. So the ratio that we're looking for, 
the ratio that we're looking for is students to faculty which is 275 the students 275 somewhere here right there 275 to 34 275 to 34 and what is the question asking since they're, since they're giving you a ratio as to this to this and this is this we have to reduce this thing and this cannot be this is a very ugly number this is not going to be very easily reduced so I'm looking for the word approximate usually they said approximately what number okay, so let's do the approximation let's do the approximation then I'm going to pretend I'm going to pretend that this this 34 at the bottom I'm going to pretend that the 34 at the bottom is 35 and this is 275 let's divide the top and the bottom let's divide the top and the bottom by 5 I wrote it here because I don't want, if I were to do this here, it's going to get uh, mixed up with the top part here, which is separate. So if you divide the top and the bottom by 5, 35 divided by 5 is 7. How many 5s and 7? How many 5s and 27? There are 5, 5 5s and 27. The remaining 2 goes and joins this guy, becomes 25, and then we get another one. So 55, 55 over 7. And that still does not help us, the way they give us the answer. It still does not help us. So I'm going to pretend one more time, I'm going to pretend one more time that this, this 55 is approximately is actually 56. Why 56? Because I know 7 7s are 49, that I know. I know that because I know my squares, 7 square is 49. So if you were to add one more 7 to 49, that will make it 50 and then 56. So if 7 7s are 49, then 8 7 must be, 8 7 must be 56. No, this is not approximate, this is exact. That's it. That's your answer, 8 to 1. Answer is 8 to 1. The answer, the answer is A. And when they say when they use the word approximate, the answer is going to be so far apart that you don't have to worry about it. Obviously, the next answer that they give you is 10 to 1. Okay, listen carefully. They give you 10 to 1, 12 to 1, 14 to 1, so on and so forth. So the next one that comes after 8 to 1 is 10 to 1. As you can clearly see, this is not a 10 to 1 ratio. Nobody in their right mind is going to say this is approximately 10 to 1. In order for this to be 10 to 1, you will need 340, you will need 340 uh, students or 27 and a half faculty. Good luck with that. So, hence to, so they are far apart. You understand? It's not 10 to 1. So obviously it's 8 to 1. That's it. I was going to do the next question on the, this page also, but I'm just going to stop here. Let's, let's not get carried away. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? It was a very simple, very straightforward question. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.